how I survived and how you can survive in China without speaking any Chinese at all. Hi, this is Vojku Michnia. Welcome to the vlog. I have now officially been in China for more than a year and it's time for me to make a confession. My Chinese, my level of Mandarin is very very poor and my Chinese level is basically at super super beginner. But I have started learning Chinese again this time with a tutor we actually use these flashcards today to learn the sounds of the pinyin alphabet but what I want to share with you in this vlog today is how I survived and how you can survive in China without speaking any Chinese at all there are five methods I use to communicate here in China with the taxi drivers at the market, at the bank, with strangers asking for directions. And here are my five recommendations of how you can also survive your first year in China or in China while you're traveling without speaking any Chinese. And no, I'm not ignorant. I know Chinese is just a broad general term and we are actually talking about different dialects, Mandarin and Cantonese. But regardless where you are, Shanghai, Hong Kong or Beijing, here's how you can survive in China without speaking any Chinese. Here we go. The first thing you need to do when you land in China or even before your arrival in China is to download one very important app. That app is called Baidu. Baidu is basically the Google of China and Baidu has a second app called Baidu Translate and you can use it the same way you're using Google Translate. So for example you're out and about and you want to buy water and you don't know how much it costs you just type in in Baidu Translate how much press translate and then just show your phone to the shopkeeper and he will tell you in Chinese or he will show you how much it costs now if you want him to do the same thing he can type in in Chinese then you translate into English or whatever your language is and you find out the answer of how much it costs now Baidu translate is also good for copying and pasting the Chinese words into other apps such as Didi which is like the Uber of China so you can like get the location or in Taobao which is like a shopping app like the Amazon of China so Baidu Translate is the first and most important app that you can use to manage around China without speaking Chinese the second app that I recommend for you to download is any voice translation app. I use Dear Translate but there are so many out there that you can just go and choose your favorite one. Basically what happens you turn on the app you press the record button you say what you want to say in your language and then when you release the button you get that message in Chinese spoken by a Chinese speaker or a robot, a bot. You can do the same thing to get an answer. So if someone is trying to tell you something and you have no clue because remember you can't speak Chinese, you take out the app, turn it on, switch from Chinese to English, not English to Chinese or whatever your language is, press the button, let them speak and you then just listen. And actually people will just volunteer to do that the moment they see you and if they want to communicate with you or if they have to communicate with you they'll just take the phone use the app and blah, 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 speak 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 and then you listen and let me tell you something it is pretty pretty accurate you can use it in a taxi you can use it at the market you can just use it anywhere at number three 
we have another app which is the most popular app in China it's called WeChat think of Facebook think of WhatsApp think of Instagram think of any payment app all combined in one if there's any app that you need in China it's gonna be WeChat and WeChat can also translate now this is mostly for written communication so let's say your WeChat friend is a Chinese person who can only type in Chinese who can only write Chinese so they will write their message in Chinese and you just press on the message bubble choose the option translate and then that message is automatically translated in your WeChat screen. Now, what you do, you read the message and you reply back in English or your own language and the person you're chatting with will do the exactly same thing but they will translate into Chinese. WeChat is just like the most awesome app that I have ever used and it helped me a lot in my day-to-day -day communication with Chinese people is just an awesome app now these three recommendations all require one two three things they require a mobile phone they might require an internet connection and they also require your phone to have a certain amount of battery left over in it so what do you do if you don't have a phone or if you ran out of battery or if you're not connected to the internet well in this case here's point number four just use English super super basic English one two words to express your entire message I would like to buy some water just say water just go to the fridge and point and say how much money money and the Chinese people, let me tell you, they know a few words of English. They're just shy and they don't want to speak English or they don't have the fluency of the language. But they understand words here and there and they will give you the answer again in maybe in Chinese or maybe in a few words of English. Six, four, yuan. That's how much a bottle of water might cost. Use English use your native language, use basic words. At number five, my last resort, use your body language. There's nothing better than pointing to your left or to your right if you want to tell your taxi driver to turn left or to turn right. Body language is just the most amazing tool we have to communicate with other people from other cultures and other languages whom we cannot verbally communicate. I use body language to communicate especially in cases of emergencies. For example, let me tell you what happened. One day my scooter just stopped working. There was a problem with, with the connection and it showed on the dashboard an exclamation mark and I didn't know what it meant. So I just pushed the bike in front of the first metro station and asked one of the guards to come, come here, look, 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 what's happening? He could not fix the bike, but he pointed and using sign language and some Chinese, he told me go straight and turn left and there will be someone who can help you fix it. Well, I did just that, went there, the dude there was just changing flat tires, so he sent me further down the road, again with zero Chinese on my part, especially like technical Chinese, to go to another shop where I could fix the bike. Over there, all I had to do was point and the guy said, okay, I'll fix it for you. So these are my top five survival skills in China when you have no Chinese under your belt. Use technology to communicate, use your mother tongue or basic words of English and use your body language to try to send a message across. Alright, I hope this little vlog will help you in your travels in China 
and I do hope you enjoy China as much as I do. All right, until next time, this is Vojko Michnia signing off. Ciao.